Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. I'm here today because today I'm very excited. I'm going to try Rebecca Stella's new foundation. Now if you can see the package, it's beautiful. I love Rebecca Stella. I think she is very beautiful and I'm going to put information down below if you don't know who she is, but she had her makeup brand for a couple of years ago and she had the foundation that I reviewed on my channel a couple of years ago that I really, really liked. But she ended that, that makeup line and she moved to LA, I think. She got married and she started her makeup brand again. Now she already released uh, beauty products or skincare products like face oil, face cream, mask. I haven't tried that. I heard it's very, it does have like um, a perfume scent to it, I think, or I read information about it, but people are crazy about it. Um, I have so much skincare to try out, so I haven't been able to try that. But if you're interested, let me know down below if you're interested to hear my thoughts about the um, about the skincare. But she released her lip liners that I have all of them. They're beautiful, one of the best lip liners ever. And she released one lipstick and a lip gloss that I am also obsessed with. She also has concealer. She right now has only three shades. And it's because she talked about on her, I think, Instagram, Insta about that. She really wants to see how people really are liking the products, how they are using it, what shades do we need so she can put out more shades, which I think it's a nice thought. Of course, I prefer there to be more shades, but it is, she is definitely going to put out more. But also she released the new foundation. And I immediately, I heard her talk about it and I was like, yeah, I need that as soon as possible. This is the package. It's very similar to the last package. You know, I don't have that old foundation because I declared it, it was too old. And I used it a lot, but I kept a little bit left of it because I was sad it's, I'm going to use it up for some reason, but I never used it. So I had to declutter it, but it's a glass packaging, heavy packaging. Um, nice cap packaging. I don't know. It doesn't look the pack. This cap doesn't make it look expensive, expensive. But it's a higher in price foundation. I will put the information down below. But this is fluid foundation, flawless foundation. It's called flawless foundation, and they sh she only released three shades: light, medium, and I think deep. It's called. I got it in medium because the light one was too light. Now. I would prefer if there was at least more shades because it's very hard to try a foundation if it doesn't suit you, the shade, but it's the same thing as with the concealer. She wants to see how people are liking the foundation itself, what shades do we need before she puts out more. It costs, I don't think she's able to put out more shades, but she really wants to and she's working on it, so that's great. But I'm going to read the, there is not so much information here on the pack new about the foundation. It says a 30 milliliters flawless foundation ingredients here, but I'm going to go on website and see what it says is going to do. Now I did swatch it when it arrived. I didn't use it, but I did swatch it because I was curious about the shade. It looked a little bit too dark for me in the packaging, but actually it is a little bit darker, but I can work with it. The light one is, was too light. Rebecca Stella Beauty. There she is. Beautiful as always. Um, also she released highlighters but I didn't purchase them because I have plenty of highlighters. Oh there are more shades available. Sorry there are seven shades available right now. When I ordered it it was three. That's amazing. So she released more shades. Seven shades. Um, and it's 329 Swedish crowns. I will uh, the information down below but I have a number two and it says a medium to full coverage and waterproof foundation that infuses the skin with plant extract and vitamin E resulting in radiant and youthful looking skin it's fine silky textured glides over skin covering all skin imperfections firming and is invisibly layer skin's texture appears smoother and formula offers adjustable coverage. Sounds like a very good finish. So I'm going to try today. If you're interested to know how it's going to work on my combination skin, then please keep on watching.
Okay guys, so I already primed my face. I primed my face with Cover FX Gripping Primer and also I went in with my under eye brightening under eye primer that I'm obsessed with. So I did let it sit a little bit while I was doing my eye makeup. And now we are going to go in, we are going to shake it. So I'm going to use two pumps and it's a thicker consistency but it smells exactly the same as the old foundation. It has that, it has a scent to it, so if you don't like scents, I don't know if you, you are going to like it better because I don't think it's going to last on the skin, but we are going to see. But it does have, I know I can't probably explain it, it's interesting scent. This shade is nice. And it feels very light. One side with the foundation and the other side without the foundation. Uh, the foundation feels very light. It goes on very, very smooth. Exactly like the first one. I love that first one. And this one feels it's going to be almost the same effect I think. Uh, I feel like this one is more, feels a little bit more lighter on the skin but I could be wrong but it feels very light on the skin. I really like the results. Let's go and do the other side and we are going to see how it's going to look if we need to go in with the second coat. So now this is with one coat, two pumps and it looks very nice. It looks very radiant I do have oily skin, so I don't like my foundation to look too oily, but this is very glowy, very nice. I think the other one, I'm still talking about the old one, but I really like that foundation. That one was more, I feel like more matte, but I loved it. Uh, this looks very nice. We'll see how it's going to go on with the rest of the makeup, but I do want to see if I can build up the coverage because I would prefer a little bit more coverage. So one pump and I'll do go over the whole face again on the parts where I think I need more coverage. Okay, so this is a very nice cup full coverage foundation now. It's not the full full coverage, but it's still full coverage, but I still can see some imperfection under the skin and it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. It looks nice. It looks beautiful. I have to say the foundation looks flawless on my skin. It's very glowy though. If it's something you like, it's going to, I don't know if it, how it's going to go and how it's going to wear it. They say it's waterproof. I haven't found a waterproof foundation yet, even if it claims to be a waterproof foundation. I'm sorry, it didn't work for me. So we'll see if this one will too, but I'm going to use her concealer, which I'm obsessed with guys. This is something that I'm obsessed with. One of the best concealers I've ever tried. And I'm going to put the information down below. I do have a review of this concealer on my channel, so I'm going to put it in the description box or up here as a card. I always say I'm going to put the inscription box, but I sometimes forget, so sorry guys. Please let me know if I do that in the comment section so I can go in see how the concealer looks amazing on top of this foundation. Guys, so far my makeup looks flawless. I really love how this foundation sits on, not sits on my skin because it doesn't sit on my skin. It looks like it sank into the skin and like my face really, really like this foundation and it feels very moisturizing and feels also very hydrating so it doesn't feel like it's drying my skin it just makes it look really really nice this is my real skin i don't use any filters i don't want to lie to you guys i want to show you all of the imperfections and i'm not a makeup artist so i'm going to use huda beauty powder to set the concealer on the eyes so i'm going to use my big fluffy brush and go into with charlotte timberly to remove this baking and also set the rest of the face. Love this powder. 
I think I saw my friend Valerie use this on her channel a couple of years ago and I after that video I, jo I was just I need to have it so now with a lot of the powder I did make it look more matte which is what I prefer but we'll see how it's going to it looks flawless it really looks flawless guys now I'm going to go and finish I look very white under my eyes but I'm going to go and finish my makeup and I'll be right back to see the end results so guys now my makeup is done and sorry for my hair it looks like a mess I know but I didn't have time to fix it this is how foundation looks I feel like it looks very nice it feels very light it feels like I don't have foundation on now I read on the website that you can build up the coverage if you use a brush and I'll definitely try that if I need more coverage and I think that could be true because often almost always when you use a brush you get more coverage instead of using a sponge so that's true what I have on rest of my face I'm reviewing a mascara that I'm not going to show this video because I think this video is going to be first so subscribe to my channel if you want to see that but I have so jaded palette on my eyes I did set my makeup with real setting spray but I also have the Rebecca Stella's lipstick and lip liner on this is lip liner number eight and the lipstick um, I know what shade it is it's caramel I lost the lip gloss and I want to cry lip gloss from Rebecca Stella is one of the best lip glosses ever can't find it anywhere I need to order a new one immediately because I can't be without it I know I took it with me to the work or maybe it's in my purse I'll check it out if it's not there I need to order it because it is the best now she only has one shade but I know she will release more love that so on top of this lipstick because it's a matte lipstick and I wanted my lips to look more I know glossy I used essence lip balm this is best lip balm ever I love it uh, kiss me lip balm number one now it's not long wear but it's a beautiful and I think that's everything to show you it's currently 9.39 so I'm going to go on with my day and I'll let you know how this is going so far so good I really like my makeup really like my face looks very smooth looks very nice I don't remember having a foundation that makes my face look this to face bone this wave foundation um, Estelle out there to oh Catrice is also beautiful but this one is yeah, I like it. It's around $30. I will put information down below. So it's not too expensive, but it is not a drug drugstore product. But if it makes my face look like this all day, I love it. Hi guys, it's an, it's time for an update. Now it's around 16 4 p.m. and I'll be having this foundation on for six and a half hours. And this is how it looks. I didn't touch up, I didn't do anything. I was working from home today and I was working on the computer. We had team meetings all morning. And when I work on the computer, I do have my computer glasses. We, and they are touching my nose bridge. So I don't know if you can see here that it, the foundation went off. I'm going to show you how it sits. It's touching my nose like this. So it went off there a little bit. Not terribly, especially where I had those glasses, but it doesn't bother me. It looks very shiny, I have to say. So I am going to try to matte it down a little bit because I don't like when it's this shiny, but it sits on the skin or looks very nice. It doesn't look cakey, it doesn't feel heavy. I did touch my chin a lot, so it went off a little bit over here, but I have to say, it's a really really good foundation now I can't say it's waterproof because it transforms when you see uh, so it does transform transfer on other things but it looks really really nice um, let me just powder down everything I'm going to use my stay matte re, uh, remove powder and just 
try to remove a little bit of the shine. Tap it in here on my hand and and it looks much, much better. See, take all this. So it will make me look shiny, but damn, it looks really, really good. So I really like this foundation. Though of course I always have powder in me. I'm not as good as I wish I was to powder my face, but I don't know, maybe if I use another less maybe more like a matte primer maybe that will work more to keep my oils in control but this foundation looks really really nice it looks really really nice and i'm going to continue with my day i uh, ended my job work today for today so i will be back to tell you how it went so we did mattify it a little bit but it still looks really really good you can see it yourself see you soon hi Okay, it's 7.30 p.m. and I had this foundation on for uh, 10 and a half hours, 10, 11 hours, 11 hours, yeah, around 11 hours. And it looks really good. It looks really, really good. I do look a little bit shiny, so this is definitely a very good one for dry skin. I think if you have very oily, maybe you wouldn't like it as much. It won't crease, not crease, but it won't look cakey, but it will make you look shiny, <laughs> oily. So if you don't like that, maybe it's this foundation not for you, but if you don't mind getting a little bit shiny. Guys, I'm sorry if you can hear my kids play. They play, play a game online and they are screaming when they play, so sorry for that but i feel like it looks it looks wonderful everything all my makeup is still there it does transfer um it went off here on my chin but it's because i'll be touching my skin it went off a little bit here on my nose but it is, was because i was rubbing my nose like this uh, but it looks nice it looks really really nice uh, i don't know how waterproof it is i'm not really sure it is won't say that didn't check that out but i feel like it looks pretty nice i really love this foundation i love the first one i like this one i will of course experiment to try it with other primers primers and see how that will go but so far so good i really like this foundation i think rebecca Stahl did an amazing job there are how many seven seven nine shades i hope she will release more shades but i really like it i like it Guys, please let me know down below what you think about this review. Let me know down below if there is any foundation you want me to try out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.